Hey, I'm Michael Westbrook in week six action of the Great American Conference. Southern Nazarene beat Arkansas Tech for the first time in school history. A 41 to 24 win as co-offensive player of the week quarterback Gage Porter produced the fourth best rushing performance in Great American Conference history. He picked up 83 of his 270 yards on this second quarter score. Roll off the man in motion. Porter keeps up the middle, nothing but green grass in front of him. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, 83 yards, Gage Porter. That's Luke McConnell on Crossover Radio. Less than 90 seconds later, Noah Campbell recorded a 44-yard pick six to give the Crimson Storm a comfortable 28 to nothing lead in the first half. Porter combined for 380 all-purpose yards and three touchdowns. Jaquel Davis returned an interception 81 yards for another defensive score. Henderson improved to 5-1 with a 35-7 win against Southwestern Oklahoma State. A 21-point second quarter helped solidify the win. That included this one-play drive with 12.30 remaining in the quarter to go up four scores. Two receivers split out wide for Stametti. He gets the snap. Three-step drop. Clean pocket. Wants to go deep to Lodry. Lodry's wide open. Makes the catch at the five. Dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Henderson State. That's Cyrus Whitting on the Henderson State Sports Network. The Reddy scored three times in a span of two minutes and 25 seconds, but it wasn't all about the offense as Mercado Anderson played well enough to earn Defensive Player of the Week honors. He finished with nine tackles, three of those for loss, and two sacks, plus he had an interception. Richard Stametti completed 14 passes, three going for touchdowns, and Correll Hall had 99 rushing yards. Harding is 5-1 after outlasting Oklahoma Baptist 50-30. to The two teams combined for 35 points in the fourth. Early in the quarter, Harding led by only six when Tristan Tucker found the end zone for the first time. Payton takes, toss, right side. Tucker's going to score a touchdown. Harding, Tristan Tucker scores on third down <laughs> and goal from the eight. And what? the Bisons lead it 33 21 with 13 17 left. That's Billy Morgan on the Harding Sports Network. Then, with 9.54 remaining, co offensive player of the week, Cole Chancey, found the end zone on a 75 yard touchdown run to give the Bison some breathing room. Chancey finished with a career high 233 yards on 19 carries. Preston Payton had 119 yards and two touchdowns. And Taylor Bissell also had two rushing scores. Southern Arkansas moved to 5 1 as well, a 40 7 win against Northwestern. The Mule ran for 333 yards in the contest. Freshman running back Cordavian Washington had a 50-yard run in the third to set up a Sir Charles Perkins touchdown to put SAU up 23-7. Then in the fourth, Washington and quarterback Hayden Mallory connected to put Southern Arkansas up by 30. They're going for it on fourth and three. Mallory back to pass, dumps it off left side. He has Washington on the left sideline, up the sideline. He runs. He's going to the house. Touchdown, Southern Arkansas. That's Dan Gregory on Magnolia's Country 99.1. Washington ran for 123 yards. Perkins rushed for 107 yards. Mallory only completed 12 passes, but in just 14 attempts for 143 yards and two scores. Washita stayed perfect, now 6-0 and and ranked 5th in the nation, following a 31-3 win at East Central. Brockton Brown sparked the offense with two first-half touchdowns, one from 11 yards out in the first quarter, and the other one a one-yard score in the second. With 531 remaining in the third, he scored for the final time from 32 yards out. Going to be the direct snap now to Brockton Brown. Brown with Cole to his right. Brown hits the hole hard. He may go. Take it to the house, Mr. Brown. Touchdown, Washita. That's Rex Nelson on the Washita Football Network. Brown finished the afternoon with 85 rushing yards and three touchdowns on only nine carries. And quarterback Braden Brazil went 14 of 20 for 207 yards and a touchdown. Arkansas Monticello is now 4-2 after a 9-7 victory against Southeastern Oklahoma State. Tied at 7 with 10 minutes remaining, Southeastern took over. But the drive ended quickly. UAM's C.J. Everett got the Southeastern quarterback with the play resulting in a safety to put UAM up 9-7. Late in the fourth, the UAM defense recovered their third fumble of the quarter to get the ball back to the offense with 2.42 remaining. Josh Marini earned his second consecutive special teams player of the week honor. He punted 
the ball eight times, seven of those landing inside the 20-yard line. His longest punt, 51 yards, set up the game-deciding safety. Demillion Brown carried the ball 14 times for 87 yards. This week in the Great American Conference, Oklahoma Baptist at Washita, Northwestern at Arkansas Tech, East Central travels to Henderson, Southeastern goes to Southern Arkansas, Southwestern at Harding, and Southern Nazarene is at Monticello. I'm Michael Westbrook. That's the GAC Rewind. Join us again next time for another edition.